Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today it's time for another Try It Out Tuesday. So today we're trying out this Stampin' Cut set from Hero Arts. I picked this up because I love the butterflies. Um, I've mentioned this before, but I love the Stampin' Cut sets because of the price point. You get dies and the stamp set for a pretty nice price. So for coloring in our butterflies today, I'm going to use some Distress Ink Mini Ink Cubes. I brought out my little mini um, finger daubers here to do my blending. I'm inking up. I have three different colors of Distress Ink. I have Peacock Feathers, Scattered Straw, and Picked Raspberry. I wanted to create a rainbow effect, so I'm actually going to repeat the pattern that I'm doing here. But um, I chose these three colors in particular because I know they blend well together to create a rainbow effect. If you mix the blue with the yellow, of course you get green. If you mix the yellow with the pink, you get an orangey, corally color. And if you mix the blue with the pink, you also get a real pretty purple. So I'm just repeating the pattern. Um, I'm actually doing my ink blending on some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm just creating a nice little bright and vibrant background. Okay, once this is done, we're going to add a little texture by using our Distress Sprayer. I just added some water droplets and I'm going to dab up the excess with a little towel here. We're going to be doing some heat embossing, so I want to make sure that this panel is nice and dry. So I brought in my heat gun. And I'm just making sure that there's um, that it's just nice and dry. We don't want any wet spots because we're going to do our stamping on here. We're going to take our anti-static powder tool and then we're going to take both butterflies in the stamp set. I'm just going to place them on an acrylic block. There's two different sizes, a small and a large. I'm going to go over my panel with my anti-static powder tool and now we are going to stamp with some Versamark ink. When I stamp my butterflies, I'm positioning them on my panel where I get different colors because I didn't want them to be the same pattern on my butterflies. So I'm kind of twisting them a little bit wonky just so I get different colors in different areas on my butterflies. Now I couldn't see where I was stamping so I had to tilt it a little bit. <laughs> but four butterflies in total, two small and two large. I'm going to go over my butterflies with my white embossing powder and I went ahead and melted that and our butterflies are ready to go. I'm going to take the coordinating dies and we'll just die cut these out. Um, these dies are actually different. They don't cut out the entire butterfly, which is really neat because it, they leave the body in your background panel. So if you just flip up the wings, it could create a beautiful card on its own. But I decided to take my scissors and fussy cut out the little antennae and the rest of the butterfly body. I want them all separated. So this was just really easy to do. But here they are. We'll set these aside and now we're going to work on our background. I'm going to take a couple sets of rectangle die or um, stacking dies here. I have a stitch rectangle die that will cut out a panel that's four inches by five and a quarter. And then these little fancy dies are so pretty. They're called the elegant rectangles. I'm going to create a window with one of them. And then I'm also going to bring in a friend die and die cut out the word friend on the very bottom of this panel. Now on another panel, I'm going to take one size window smaller and we're going to die cut, die cut out a window in this card sock. I'm also going to use the, my fancy flourish die. I've used this quite a bit, but I really love it. I think it's dainty and beautiful. I just die cut that out with some white card stock. Everything that I use today, guys, will be listed down below in case you're interested. Okay, I'm going to punch out my word friend. And this is going to be our very top panel because it has the stitch lines. Now, for the panel with the smaller window, I'm going to mat my larger window right on top. Now I didn't die cut it out with the stitch rectangle because I wanted to make sure that it was centered. So I'm lining it up and then taking my scissors and then just trimming around my top panel. That way I know it's perfectly positioned and it just saved me a little bit of time versus lining it up with my rectangle die. Okay, next we're going to bring in a paper pad. I've had this paper pad for a while. It's a wood grain paper pad and I thought we'd give it our card a little earthiness by using some wood grain pattern paper. I'm going to line it up behind the word friend and cut out a small strip. This is going to be the background for my sentiment. And then with the leftover piece, I'm going to put it right behind my window. I'm finding the perfect 
piece to go behind my window, so I'm trimming around it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take our card base, which is a standard, card, uh, standard A2 size card base. I'm adding adhesive behind my wood grain pattern, and I'm lining it up over my, my window frame here, and then I press down. That way I know it's the perfect position to go behind this panel. We'll tape this panel right in the center of our card base, and it is going to leave me a little bit of a border. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere the wood grain behind our friend. This The wood grain is going to go directly behind um, our first panel we adhered down. Now our top panel, I wanted to add some dimension by using some double-sided foam tape. I'm just going to adhere some behind this entire panel. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere this in the center of our card base. So everything is just lined up beautifully and we get that nice wood grain in the background. Very earthy. I like that. I'm going to take the R and the D. There's two center pieces that we need to put back in their home. So I'm taking some real small thin pieces of foam tape, putting them behind those centers and then adding them to the word friend. So it's complete once more. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take our fancy flourish, add a little bit of glue to the center. We're going to press this down so it's adhered to the wood grain on the inside. And I think I think swirls and butterflies just go great together. <laughs> I added glue behind the centers of each one of my butterfly bodies and adhered those. I just fluffed up the wings a little bit. And then I just decided to use two today. So we'll take that extra larger butterfly and glue down to the inside of our card. Now we're going to finish off our sentiment. The sentiments in the stamp set have happy birthday, happy Mother's Day, get well, and I think we're going to make a get well card today. I know this is the snippily season, so I need to replenish my get well cards. We're going to stamp get well with Versafine on Nix Black ink, and I'm stamping directly on my card. Even though it's popped up with foam tape, I made sure that I got a piece of foam tape behind the top portion of my friend. And then for bells and whistles, I'm adding some clear droplets here and there. And that finishes off my card today, guys. Now, I got a new camera. I don't know if it's a clear or picture or not. Please let me know, guys. I would appreciate that. I have a 15-day return policy on it, so if it's not working out, I can return it. But I would love to hear your comments. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I wish you a fantastic day, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.